Hey, what's up guys? It's Joseph from Screenbite, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Arctis 7s by SteelSeries, the latest in their lines of headsets. This will be the wireless variant. I have to say, um, this one kind of caught me off guard. Uh, when it comes to headsets, I'm not really a fan because I've always found that you can get better audio quality out of a nice pair of headphones, but this is definitely an exceptional case. Um, getting into the design of things, it's very low-key and understated, which is something that's different for headsets, and it has very nice materials like this soft rubber here on the sides. As for the headband, they opted for like the ski goggle band type thing which conforms to your head and velcros on. There's tons of different designs and styles, but the headband is made of aluminum which is really cool. As for the other pieces, they are mostly plastic, but they're nice and light so definitely no complaints from me. Now, this being a headset means it comes with a mic, and this time around, SteelSeries has definitely stepped up its game. Uh, very, very nice, actually. Uh, here's a test. Test, test, one, two, one, two. Test, test, one, two, one, two. Oh my god! Turn around! There's a guy behind you! Oh my god! Turn around! There's a guy behind you! Oh my god! Look. Now the left ear cup houses most of the controls like the mute button, volume switch, as well as the charger and the auxiliary port if you want to plug them in. The right ear cup is for the chat mixer as well as the power button. The ear cups themselves are made of this very nice plush material. They're ultra breathable, definitely comfortable, I have no complaints here. This is one of those headsets that you can wear for hours on end and if you're in it for the comfort, this is definitely a headset for you. This right here is the wireless receiver which connects directly to the back of your PS4 or your PC and for wireless range, no complaints, I can safely make it downstairs to my kitchen. Now getting down to why most of you are here, how exactly does this headset sound? Well. Um, as I mentioned earlier in the video, they're not going to blow away any audiophile headphones that you may already have lying around your house. However, this is definitely a pretty strong contender in the headset market if that's what you're looking for. The lows are there, not overbearing, but they are definitely noticeable and tight. Uh, the mids are just fine, um, I have no complaints there. And as for the highs, they're not fatiguing in any way, shape, or form. And the cool thing about it being a wireless headset uh, means that you can go right into the SteelSeries software and you can tweak everything. Um, speaking of software, here's a quick rundown. Now everything is controlled through SteelSeries Engine 3 software like all of their products. Uh, you have DTS Headphone X for like surround sound, I personally like to keep that off. A couple of presets for game music and movies. You have your sliders if you want to control your EQs. Some presets. Um, these are pretty good. I would recommend staying away from performance because it makes the highs a little bit fatiguing. I personally like to keep it on a flat profile. I'm still not quite sure what dynamic range compression is, but I'll have to test that out to see what that is a little bit in the future. Uh, you can have a live listen to your audio quality as well as have mic side tone so you can hear yourself. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, you could also go ahead and make yourself different profiles that you can switch between on the fly, which is pretty cool. But uh, pretty basic, easy to use software altogether, and I personally really like it. Now before we close everything up, there's one major con of this headset that I really wanted to mention. And that's volume. Now this could just be a me thing, I know that I've definitely messed up my ears listening to music at large, large, loud volumes over the years, um, but they just don't get loud enough. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is about wireless headsets, but out of all the ones that I've tried, um, I always have to crank up in-game volume all the way up, crank up the headset volume all the way up just to be able to be a little bit comfortable, and that's not cool to me. Now, mileage may vary for you. Uh, if you have good ears, then these should definitely be completely fine. But for me personally, um, that's going to keep me from using these as my daily drivers. Right, but that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. So thank you guys once again for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button down below. As always, subscribe if you like the content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Deuces.